Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be recording my final boss clear on the Final Fantasy XV Vision World against Ravis. And we're going to be using True King Noctis as our leader skill. Now he's got a dual typed leader skill. It's 750% for royalty units on this party that's basically just himself and the Esper Tivus. Um, but it's also a 500% leader skill for all light element units, which the rest of the party is getting his secondary leader skill of 500%. That would be Knights of Grandchild, Squall, Lion, and Fina. Um, also, Noctis, because he's Final Fantasy XV, he gets a synergy bonus, so he gets even higher stats. So he's going to be doing way more damage in the whole party, because he's kind of cheating here. Um, if I had Prompto, this party would be way stronger. We would, we would replace Prompto with Lion, um, or replace Lion with Prompto, and do more damage. But, we're going to do fine. Let's get in here and give it a go. We're going to be doing a turn 4 clear, and I'll explain the boss's um, attacks as we go. <clears throat> On turn 1, the boss is going to do AoE Physical, Single Target Physical, AoE Magical Dark, AoE Stop... And then he's going to put up a field on our side of the party that imperils us. So on turn one, we're going to use Fina on Lakshmi to cast Stop Immunity. We're just going to guard Lion and Knights of Grand Shell. They don't need to do anything. Tybus will do Calamity Border just to bring us to 100% Dark Resist. Squall will do his base form LB for the Great Sword Imperil. And Noctis will put up AoE Mirage for the party. Uh, double stack to avoid the physical damage. So we're provoking with Fina, we're going to Mirage with Noctis, we're immune to Dark, and we're immune to Stop. And then the boss puts up the Field on our side. We're going to replace that later. But just be, be mindful, this is a 50% Dark and Peril Field on our side of the party. Now on turn 2, the boss is going to do a double AoE Physical, so we're going to double Mirage that with Noctis again. Squall can just fill his LB gauge uh, to get going. By the way, the boss will also do Single Target Physical and Death. AoE Magical Dark again, and then um, he'll buff himself. Uh, Fina is death immune. So in order to deal with the AoE, um, the Imperil, we're now going to use Fina's AoE 100% resist buff. It also imbues the party. We're going to use a human killer with Fina. It is crowned. And we're going to use her new 100% single target amplify on Lion. Uh, on this turn, Lion can just guard and soak in Tyvus, And we're going to shift Knights of Grand Choke to start stacking him up. So with Fina's buff and the gear we're using, we are still immune to darkness even after the Imperil field. So here we go. Some physical, we mirage it, etc. No big deal. The boss uh, buffs himself with only attack and magic. We don't really care. We're immune to all the damage. So on turn 3, the boss is going to do another AoE physical, two of them. Some single target stuff, and then an AoE dark Imperil as the last action. We're going to be killing next turns. We don't care. There's actually no dark damage on turn three. So even though we're now going to be shifting our DPS all to their setup forms that are not wearing dark resist, it doesn't matter because there's no dark damage on turn three. So we're going to go ahead and shift everyone and get them ready for bursting next turn. <laughs> okay, so Fina will do her SLB for stats, amplify, LB damage, all the good stuff. Knights of Grand Shell will do his 150 amp, refill his LB gauge, and then whatever. Tyvis will do his 150 amp, you know, whatever, and then we will do his modifier buff. Noctis will do his 150 amp. Um, we're going to do a 40% sword and dagger in peril, and then a modifier buff. Squall will do his 150 amp, modifier buff, and then whatever. And then Lion is going to refill her LB gauge. Now my Lion is only EX1, very weak. We can't even do the, we can't even do the SLB in the turn count. Uh, then we're going to do the 89 breaks and the 160 in peril. And then she's going to do a double mirage for the party on this turn. So we don't take any damage. So here we go. Double AoE physical, some single target stuff. We're now in peril of the dark. Now turn four, a lot of stuff goes on. In case you're not killing on turn four, uh, turn four is three AoE physicals, some single target stuff, two more AoE dark typed physicals, and then AoE dark type magic. So turn four, a lot of stuff going on. And then on turn five, the boss starts, the boss starts using fixed non-elemental attacks. You don't, you don't, you don't want to go past turn five, in my opinion. Um, you, could, you, could, you could go to turn five, but we're going to kill on turn four. So we're, we're now going to use Fiona to put up her Bayment field. That will be a 40% it is crowned, 40% light amplify. 
Uh, we're going to use Knights of Grand Shell to cap, Tyvus to LB, Noctis to LB, Lion's going to LB, and then, and then Squall's going to LB. So we're going to send Squall and Lion together first, they're absolute mirror. Then we're going to wait just a moment, then we're going to send Noctis, Tyvus, and Knight to Grand Shout. I'm going to pause the video, I want to get like a decent roll for the video, I'm not going to variance farm very long, but I would like to get like a nice roll. So be back in a moment when I get average or above. Alright guys, let's try a roll, here we go. And if we roll good, great. If not, you know, whatever. I'm not really going to farm variants all day here. I'll show you a screenshot of my, my good run. Uh, but anyway, that was the clear. That was the clear that I'm using. So in this run, we did 22 billion. Not great. Here, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Um, here's a run I did earlier, 24. Based on calculations, this team goes as high as 27 uh, with variants. But there it is. So we're going to look at the good run. So in the good run, you can see that Knight's Grand Shout did 3.5. Um, Tyvus did, the Esper Tyvus did 6.7. Noctis, who remember, is getting a massive buff from, from be, <coughs> for being a Final Fantasy 15 unit. So Noctis is getting 9 billion because um, he has a massive buff here. He's also the highest damage dealer regardless, but on top of that, he's getting the Final Fantasy 15 buff. Um, Lion did 0.6, so something mine's only ex1 meaning we didn't even have her slb by the kill term but uh it is what it is and then um squall did 4.2 so let's get get back to the regular game and here's the example run right here as you can see variants Noctis rolled terrible that attempt uh typhus rolled high that attempt but um, er, 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 everyone else rolled pretty bad anyway yeah so you know variance is fun anyway i'll show you the team's gear real quick uh, now, if I had Prompto, like I said, replace Prompto, or replace Lion with Prompto, Prompto gets the Royal Tag, Prompto gets the Final Fantasy XV buff, Prompto also just naturally deals way higher damage than Lion, and Prompto also has a Light and Peril field, so Prompto in Peril is better than Lion. I'm kind of considering maybe doing a pull for Prompto, but... We're going we're gonna to wait on that for the moment. Anyway, here's the team that we did use. So Knights of Grand Shout in the base form. Titus is STMR. And then some Dark Resist so that we're immune after the um, Calamity Border. A uh, little bit of Esperfill. And there we go. Shift form is LB Damage versus Humans. Um, some Dark Resist so that uh, we have 50 or better Dark Resist in the Shift form. So that we are still immune after the Imperil with Pianist Buff. There's the setup. Esper Typhus in the base form, just some dark resist. Uh, Calamity Border, Esper Fill, and then Shift Form is LB Damage versus <coughs> the combo. 16.5 uh, attack power. Remember, we don't have Clash of Wills gear on JP, so you know attack, pa attack powers will be lower here. Uh, King Noctis in the base form, just some dark resist. Esper Fill. Shift Form is Damage versus Humans. Um, again. Dual wield build, uh, mine's EX2, there we go. A little bit of chain speed, because he is an eight times chainer. And then I gave him the best card, because you know he's the highest damage dealer, so there we go. Uh, Return Fina is our passive provoker, death immunity, full evasion, dark resist. Uh, other than that, she does all the buffing and then the field. And then Lion is geared for damage, technically speaking. <laughs> mine's EX1, double-handed dagger. We are getting a 40% dagger in peril from Noctis. So there it is, Titus's garb. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to do her SLB because I did a turn, a turn, um, a turn four clear. I uh, mine's only EX one, and just, <laughs> I mean, this is the best card she could use. So there it is. I don't have a lot of vision cards on JP. And then Squall in the base form, just dark resist, shift form, LB damage versus humans. So there it is. There's my clear. If I pull for um, uh, Prompto, you know, the clear will go way up. But uh, currently ranked 382, you know, I'm sure it'll be way lower by the time this ends in like two weeks. Unless I pull Prompto, then I can go higher, but we'll see. Anyway, see you in a bit.